the outside. You're also going to need to... Okay, where's the chart? How's Mary? I don't know. Is she alive? I said I don't know. Okay, I'm waiting. What happened? I can't remember. Jesse. Mm. That's one hell of a bump. We were on my bike. Someone cut us off. Well, where did they take Mary? I was just about to ask. We already did. Don't worry. They're bringing her upstairs. Coming through! Careful with that IV line there. We're gonna need an x-ray machine up here. Stat. BP's dropping. Get out of the way! Tell them, tell them the lab this is stat. Get a test with the blood thing. Yep. Oh, God, no. I gave her my helmet. Have you heard anything? Where is she? They just took her to the operating room. Most of you are. Your daughter's experiencing severe internal bleeding, and I won't be able to say anything definite until we've dealt with that and we can uh, assess her other injuries. Excuse me. Jesse, what happened? Jesse, I'm talking to you. What happened? It wasn't my fault, Mr. Owens. Nobody said it was, Jesse. I swear it wasn't. I, sw I sw wasn't. Jesse! Hey, watch where you're going. My buddy, the milk drinker. God, for a rainbow in the sky, rainbow in the sky, rainbow in the sky. God, for a rainbow in the sky, rainbow in the sky, rainbow in the sky. It looks. I forgot the words. <laughs> That's okay. Listen, just take your time. You'll get it. We're in no hurry. It looks like the sun ain't gonna shine no more. Try it. Well, thank goodness. Mayor and I were beginning to think that everybody's forgotten about her rehearsal. Jesse? What's wrong? It's Mary. There was an accident. Yeah, we were on the bike together and someone cut us off the road near the bridge. Are you gonna be all right? Me? What about Mary? But I'm okay, Jesse. No, no, little Mary. He means his Mary, not you. I gave her my helmet. I didn't mean for this to... ...single set of skid marks at the accident site. Still no word on the fate of the victim who was taken to Queen of Mercy Hospital with extensive head injuries. Police were forced to close the road for more than two hours while the Police. investigation took place. Hey, it's okay. If someone's hurt, there has to be an investigation. But I didn't do anything. 
No one's saying you did, Jesse. What about the other driver? The one that cut you off? May I help you? I'm looking for uh, Jesse Carlson. I'm Detective Gerard. I'm Jesse. Mind if we talk? No, of course not. Scene of a horrific accident. Police say that fog engulfed a three-mile stretch of the road, resulting in a chain reaction of accidents. You run. Don't get into any mischief here. So, Jesse Carlson, 21, been riding a bike for five years. One accident two years ago. Cartilage removed from your knee. And then... I, how do you know all that? I'm with the accident division. We keep all the records. Now, how long have you known Mary Owens? Six months, seven. In your own words, how did it happen? Mary, you coming? Yo, Mary, aren't you ready yet? Where's Johnny? Well, nice to see you, too. Johnny said he'd pick me up. Johnny's hauling the speakers and the amps. I'm supposed to take you back to the loft. Look, Mary, you've been on my case about this Daisy thing for two weeks now. Just let it go. I wish I could, but I can't. Well, you've got to. We're in a band together. We see each other every night. Besides, nothing happened, all right? So I guess nothing happened between you and me either. You know what I mean. No, Jesse, I don't. And I don't think you do either. <laughs> Look at you. Torn jeans and a thousand dollar jacket. You're just a rich kid playing at being poor. You're a child refusing to grow up and take responsibility for your life. I don't need to hear this. Yes, you do. Look, you don't want to ride? Fine. You get legs, walk. Take a bus. I really don't care. But it'd be a hell of a lot faster if you just came with me. Just don't throw me off the bike. What did she say? When you gave her the helmet, what did she say? She said thanks, and then she took it. Thanks? Yeah, yeah I guess. Something like that. But who knows? I gave her the helmet, and she put it on. You were arguing with her. <clears throat> well, we had been fighting off and on for a couple weeks. We just broke up, OK? It was no big deal. Are you seeing someone else? What's that got to do with anything? Just for the record, Jesse. Are you ready to go now? Mary? Well, I'm ready to go. How about you guys? Are you ready? Yep. yep. You are, yeah. All right, let's go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Is that Mary? Yes. She's a beautiful girl. It's too bad you let her get away. She isn't gone yet. No, I'm really beat. Are we finished? There's a lot between you two that hasn't been settled yet, isn't there? I should really get some sleep. Avoiding my questions isn't going to do you any good. I don't want to take you downtown if I don't have to, Jesse. But I might want to ask you some more questions later. About what? If I knew that, I wouldn't have to ask, would I? Ellen? Jesse? Mary's gonna be all right, you know. There's something you aren't saying, isn't there, Jesse?
So this detective comes by and she starts asking all these questions. What do you think she was looking for? Sure, thanks. How's Mary doing? I don't know. The hospital wouldn't say. Mary's dying. Jesse, quit it. Mary's dying and there's nothing any of us can do about it. We can pray for her. I mean, we can pray that everything will be okay. You honestly believe that there's something, somebody out there that's going to help her? My mom and dad are going to watch out for her. Are you crazy? Daisy, your parents are dead. I know. And that's why they'll watch out for Mary and keep her safe, no matter what happens. You don't believe that? There's something out there, Jess. Hey, where are you going? I don't know. I'll talk to you later. He's wrong, you know. You know, Daisy, I don't know how to tell you this. But you know, you got to be prepared for the worst. I know. I mean, all that stuff you were saying about your parents and all. You really believe that? That there's more than this? Than us? Yeah, Billy, I do. I mean, there's got to be, don't you think? No, I don't. I don't. See, there's life, and then there's death, and that's it. Billy. No. There's no in-between. There's no God. There's no heaven. Billy, don't. Don't what? Don't, don't, don't give myself delusions about fairy tales? I believe there's a reason for everything. From my parents dying to me walking into this club and meeting you. I don't believe in anything. Not even the truth? Detective Gerard. Don't look so worried, Mr. Kramer. This isn't about you. Not this time. What do you want? I'm trying to find out if your friend Jesse had some reason to harm Mary Owens. What? Wait a sec, what division are you with? Accident. But what concerns me right now is that what happened to Mary Owens might not have been an accident. Catwalk will be right back. We dare you to feel more comfortable this You don't know what you're talking about. Believe me, I do. Jesse would never do anything to hurt Mary. Come on, Daisy, calm down. I should just ask him. You are, aren't you? I mean, Jesse would never do anything like that. Then what's he hiding? Oh, come on. You don't really believe he's telling the truth, do you? Do you think there's a God? Good question. But that's not my division. Just tell your friend that things would be a lot easier if he tells me what he's hiding. play when you're sad, like uh, when your ice cream melts or your dog runs away. Or when someone dies, like Jesse's Mary? Mary is not going to die. But what if she does? Just listen. been, man. Out. Hear anything from the hospital yet? Yeah. Um, Mary's mom called. She said the operation's over. How'd it go? Well, they're not gonna know for a while. 
Mary's gonna take some time to stabilize. Where's everyone else? Uh, listen, Sierra are down at Billy Kay's. Actually, they're waiting for us. For what? For sound check. Does Tony Peeler ring any bells? I mean, he's waiting to hear us tonight. Mary is dying. And, and all you care about is some stupid record deal? Jesse, it's what we do. Mary would want us to go for it, all right? Look, get behind those drums and play some music. Because you got to get all this stuff that's inside of you out. Then you can play with us. Johnny, I don't know what's inside. That's what the music's for. You want this? She's Catholic, right? She tries to be. She says that's what it means to be Catholic. You know, trying to do what's right, even if you don't quite make it. Yeah, what's the point? Well, you gotta believe in something. See, you told me that you don't even go to church, but you believe in God. Do you really think that there's some kind of grand plan? That your parents died for a reason, that Mary's dying for a reason? She's not... Billy, she's not dying. These will give her something to listen to. Mary's unconscious. She can't hear anything. Well, I heard that sometimes unconscious people can hear everything around them. How could they possibly prove that? They're unconscious. Does it matter? I mean, if it's true, maybe these will do her some good, right? But there's no way of knowing, right? Billy, what we know doesn't matter. It's what we believe that's important. Have you ever heard your daughter arguing with Jesse? About what? About anything. Please, Mr. Owens, this might be important. Are you saying that Jesse might have done this to Mary on purpose? I can't say, Mrs. Owens. All I know is I've been out at the accident site, and there are some things there that conflict with Jesse's story. Well, what are you saying? Joe, you can't think like that. What, that he couldn't take the fact that Mary broke up with him? Joe, stop it. Jesse would never hurt Mary. We don't know that. Joe, they're kids. They broke up. That's all there is to it. Look, she just said that his story doesn't check out. Now, Julia, there's got to be a reason for that. Joe! What are you keeping back? Hmm? What did you do? Nothing, Mr. Owens. Come on, Mr. Owens, let him go. That's my baby dying in there, you bastard. Are you all right, man? Yeah. Look, let's get out of this place. We got that audition. Oh, flowers. I brought Mary flat. Mary? What are you talking about? Let's go. Come on. 
No, let me go, man. It's Mary. Jesse, pull yourself together, all right? Tony Peeler won't wait. I just want to say thanks a lot, you know, for coming down and checking out the band, taking time out of your busy schedules. This is Catwalk. Living each day, pretending that I'm on fire, doesn't burn me. Yet in the night, when I close my eyes, my face is all that I see. Catwalk will be back after this. Sometimes you can't see what gets into your clothes. At the Olive Garden. Who do you think Jesse could be? I don't know. I mean, we went looking for him and he was gone. Well, with Mary and all, maybe we shouldn't have been playing to begin with. Look, guys, man, she's gonna be fine, okay? And she's gonna wake up to a record deal. Mary's being taken care of, but there's nothing we can do for her. So, why don't we just do something we can do for Jesse? Like, try and bring him back. Actually, here, this is all my fault. What is? Jesse, what's going on? I mean, what haven't you told us? Mary and I had an argument. She said some things. Oh, God, I can't believe what she said to me. What'd she say? Look at you. Torn jeans and a thousand dollar jacket. You're just a rich kid playing at being poor. You're a child refusing to grow up and take responsibility for his life. She forced me to hear the truth. 
It wasn't about us, was it? I mean, she didn't know that we... Slept together? No, she didn't have a clue. Are you sure? Why is that important now? Because Mary's my best friend and I slept with her boyfriend. So I kind of feel bad about it, okay? Daisy, this had nothing to do with you and me. Mary had something she wanted to get off her chest. So... I wanted to make her feel as bad as she was making me feel. I wanted to scare her, Daisy. Jesse, you know that's not true. I was driving too fast. You always drive too fast. No, never with Mary. I shouldn't have gone that fast with her. Jesse, how could you have known what was going to happen? I mean, the other car pulled out in front. There was no other car. It was just me and Mary. And what I was feeling. And what were you feeling? This was killing me. I don't know. What if I was so angry at her that, that I wanted to hurt her? I can't answer that. But, Jesse, you have got to face up to this because it's your only way out of here. But I don't know what was inside of me. Look, you gave her your helmet, right? Yeah, I did, so what? Then start with that. I'll wait for you. Aren't you going to say something? Like uh, the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime? Was there a crime committed here? You're the detective. There was no other car, was there? No. And you were driving too fast. Yeah. So much for the facts. Now how about the motive? You were angry with her. Yeah. So you wanted to get back at her? No. You were angry with her and you didn't want to do anything about it? I wasn't... I was angry at myself. Because she was right. She was right about everything. But how did that make you feel about her? I gave her my helmet. I didn't want to hurt her. Not even by accident. How are you going to feel if she dies? What the hell is it you want from me? What do you want from yourself? Forgiveness? Remorse? Punishment? Understanding. I want understanding. Don't we all? But all you're doing is trying to escape. The bottom line is, you are running away. You always have, you always will. From your parents? No. From your friends? Shut up. From Mary? Stop it! From life? I Just shut your face! That's what you're trying to do tonight, isn't it?
Jesse, we've been looking all over for you. Johnny thought that you might come here. Come on, Jesse, it's time to go back. Are you gonna answer my question? Everybody's waiting for you, come on. Jesse, wait. took these from me. You dropped them. You come with me. Come on. I will. Jesse, you keep this up. Sooner or later, you're going to have to go downtown. right? Yeah, good thing. I just wish. Hey, we all do. Good news. We could sure use some. Hello. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll tell him. Thanks. Um. That that was the hospital. Mary's worse, and they don't think she's gonna make it through the night. If you want, we can take my truck. I'll stay with Mayor here. You kids go on to her. You gonna be okay? Yeah, as long as I've got you guys. There are some things I may not know. There are some places I want to tell you I cannot go, oh, but I am sure of this one thing. My Catwalk will be back after this. Starting today, there's a whole new reason to get close up. Hey. Look, sorry it took so long to get here. How's she doing? Not so good, huh? I mean, you still believe that this is happening for a reason? Billy, just because I believe in there being a reason doesn't mean I can explain it. I just wish there was something I could do for her. Do you love her? She's my best friend. And that's the best you can do. I love you, Billy. Two. 
through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you chose to share our human nature to redeem all people and to heal the sick. Look with compassion upon your servants whom we have anointed in your name with this holy oil. Jesse. Mary's dying. It's time to go. Let him go. He hasn't done anything wrong. Yes, he has. Ask him yourself. We won't let you take him. Yeah, we need him. Mary needs him. That's not good enough. There are larger issues at stake here. Responsibility, trust, respect for the law. Yeah, what law is that? There's only one, Mr. Kramer. I thought you knew. Please, let him go. Mrs. Owens, Jesse has to pay for what he's done to your daughter. Even if it was an accident? Are you certain that's what it was? You can't change the facts. Then we forgive him. What? You heard me. Even if Jesse did do something wrong, we know he didn't mean it. We know he's sorry. We both forgive him. This is a criminal matter. What you want, what you feel, has got nothing to do with my job. And the rest of you? No one wants to press charges? Not even you? Look, I don't know why this happened. But I believe in Jesse. It wasn't his fault. You believe? I do. <laughs> Just so we understand each other, Jesse. You can go on in and see her. But I'm going to have to wait out here. You're not letting me go? It's not up to me. I wish it were. I'll be waiting, Jesse. We've said our goodbyes, Jesse. It's your turn. Again. You may not get another chance. now and by eternal happiness and joy in heaven. Father, we ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.
I'm sorry. running away from everything. I never got to tell you you were right. I never got to say goodbye. We didn't know if you were going to make it, Jess. I know when that guy cut us off. But we're both dead. Thank God you gave me your helmet. There was another driver? Yeah, there was a crazy drunk. Excuse me, folks. Excuse me. Good. Good. Your rhythm is diminishing. I hope you know how fortunate you are to have friends like these. They didn't leave your side for an instant. Look, Jess, I'm sorry for what I said. And, um, well, you know. No, no, don't be. We got a lot to talk about. You'll have plenty of time to talk tomorrow. Let's go. See, Jess. Bye, Jess. Welcome back, Jess. Tell me the truth. Do you really think I'd make it back? I was the only one who did. My heart can start beating again. I can start eating again, man. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna throw a party for him when he gets out of the club. This one's full. Special delivery for the morgue downtown. We'll get the next one. That's right. There's always the next one. Catwalk. We'll be right back. She's gonna love this. Happy birthday, Lauren. Introducing... Catwalk. <laughs>